Starters walking over to his rostrum. Looks like Stanbrook Marques is going to be led in. Flag in hand for the starter. Little Ann just facing the wrong way. And uh, there are for racing for the opening Charles Owen pony race, 138 centimetres and under, and jumping off with the rest of them at Stanbrook Marquesa, but having to be driven by Lucy Smith in the early stages. Little Anne is up there, that's white with the blue chevron, and she's got a white face. Charlie Todd on board, the brown and beige of Honky Tonk Girl with Stanbrook Marquesa trying to make it a line of three to the outside. Millie is quite detached, about uh, six or seven lengths, maybe eight lengths in behind under Hattie Heel and Hepplewood Barclay Square and George Crawford at the back. So these three have stormed away. They're good. 15 to 20 lengths clear of the other two. Now they're going quite a gallop, and on the inside it's Little Anne and Charlie Todd from Honky Tonk Girl and Harry Reid, and then to the outside the two-tone blue, Stanbrook Marquesa and Lucy Smith. Turning into the home straight, about 25 lengths back to Millie in fourth, and then Hepplewood Barclay Square as the field come inside their final half mile. And it is Little Anne that has the lead. She's been in really good form, this five-year-old mare in pony races. Charlie Todd is just having to get quite serious now. Honky Tonk Girl is in second spot and then Stanbrook Marquesa, and these are a long way clear of Millie and Hattie Hill. She's working away, and Hepplewood Barclay Square and George Crawford at the back. So about to come inside their final two, and Little Anne is clear by six or seven lengths here. Stanbrook Marquesa is giving it a good go with Honky Tonk Girl for second spot. They're 15 lengths clear of Millie in fourth, and then 10 back to Hepplewood Barclay Square in fifth place. So inside the furlong, it is Little Anne. She's won four of her last six pony races and will surely make it five of the last seven. Stanbrook Marquesa has got the best of Honky Tonk Girl. A Honky Tonk Girl is quite tired, but coming up to the line inside the final 50 yards, it is Little Anne that wins the opening Char Charles Owen pony race. And saluting the crowd, Charlie Todd on board. Stanbrook Marquesa, Lucy Smith in second. A real battle on for third. And Millie, a renewed effort from Millie and Hattie Heel to get that position ahead of Honky Tonk Girl and Harry Reid in fourth. And last of the five to finish, Hepplewood Barclay Square and George Crawford. First number one, Little Anne. Second number two, and a photo finish for third place. Here is the result of the photo finish for third place. Third number three, the fourth pony number six. Smith turning into the home straight, about 25 lengths back to Millie in fourth, and then Hepplewood Barclay Square as the field come inside their final half mile. And it is Little Anne that has the lead. She's been in really good form, this five-year-old mare in pony races. Charlie Todd is just having to get quite serious now. Honky Tonk Girl is in second spot, and then Stanbrook Marquesa, and these are a long way clear of Millie and Hattie Hill. She's working away, and Hepplewood Barclay Square and George Crawford at the back. So about to come inside their final two, and Little Anne is clear by six or seven lengths here. Stanbrook Marquesa is giving it a good go with Honky Tonk Girl for second spot. They're 15 lengths clear of Millie in fourth and then 10 back to Hepplewood Barclay Square in fifth place. So inside the furlong it is Little Anne. She's won four of her last six pony races and will surely make it five of the last seven. Stanbrook Marquesa has got the better of Honky Tonk Girl. A Honky Tonk Girl is quite tired but coming up to the line inside the final 50 yards it is Little Anne that wins the opening Char Charles Owen pony race and saluting the crowd Charlie Todd on board. Stanbrook. One is coming in, and they're off and racing for the second Charles Owen pony race, 148 centimetres and under, and only about two lengths would separate the four of them at the moment. Out deep on the course in the purple and yellow, that is Hope, the light blue Miss Wonderful. In the white colours, the mauve cross belts, that's Miss Tiny, Lorcan, Murta. And just at the back of the field, Glen B. Seabreeze and George Innes Carr. But it is Hope and William Hill just leading the way. Very deep on the course, Charlotte Greenway on board Miss Wonderful. Hope's lead is now at two or three lengths. And then in behind Miss Tiny and on the inside, the dark green sleeves, the Duke of Roxburgh colours of Glen B. Seabreeze. So turning right-handed and will eventually go into to the home straight. It is Hope 
a winner of a pony race from her last four starts, leading by three lengths to Miss Tiny in second. Very wide indeed, giving away ground. Miss Wonderful around the outside, Charlotte Greenway. But at the moment, Hope has really got them stretched here. Takes a look round there, William Hill. He might be feeling confident. Leads by around about six to Glen B. Seabreeze. No move from that one just yet. They're approaching their final three furlongs. Miss Tiny is driven, coming right over to this stand side. Miss Wonderful having been wide around that bend. So two and a half furlongs left to go and now William Hill has to get urgent on Hope in second spot Glenby Seabreeze George in his car is working away this near side right on the stand side Charlotte Greenway and Miss Wonderful and Miss Tiny is back in fourth place and Lorcan Murta about to come inside the furlong it is Hope and William Hill clear by six or seven lengths to Glenby Seabreeze and George in his car and then this near side Miss Wonderful and Charlotte Greenway but inside the last half furlong Hope has got a healthy lead in the hands of William Hill and will win comfortably in the second chance Charles Owen pony race. Might be tight for second, but Glenby Seabreeze will get the nod there, about seven lengths back. And then Miss Wonderful in third. And then finishing in fourth spot, Miss Tiny and Lorcan Mercer. First number one, Hope. Second number three. Third number four. The fourth pony number two. The Prozolity Charles Owen pony race, 148 centimetres and under. First number one, Hope. Second number three, Glenby Seabreeze. Third number four, Miss Wonderful. The fourth pony number two, Miss Tiny. But at the moment, Hope has really got them stretched here. Takes a look round there, William Hill. He might be feeling confident. Leads by around about six to Glen B. Seabreeze. No move from that one just yet. They're approaching their final three furlongs. Miss Tiny is driven, coming right over to this stand side. Miss Wonderful having been wide around that bend. So two and a half furlongs left to go. And now William Hill has to get urgent on Hope. In second spot, Glen B. Seabreeze. George in his car is working away. This near side, right on the stand side, Charlotte Greenway and Miss Wonderful and Miss Tiny is back in fourth place and Lorcan Murta about to come inside the furlong. It is Hope and William Hill clear by six or seven lengths to Glenby Seabreeze and George in his car. And then this near side, Miss Wonderful and Charlotte Greenway. But inside the last half furlong, Hope has got a healthy lead in the hands of William Hill and will win comfortably in the second Charles Owen pony race.